get ready, get, get, get ready. Sweaters. I'm Eric the Trainer. You know, we recently had the opportunity to go to Denver, check out the Denver Nuggets, and specifically hang out with Wilson Chandler. He's one of their greatest players. Take a sneak peek into what we did. Uh, do you do this stuff on a regular basis? How often do you do this kind of workout for the lower body? For me, I do it every day because I had hip surgery. Okay. So it's not only important to get my hip stronger, but uh, the muscles around it, my VMOs, my, my quads, my uh, glutes, everything. So I do it uh, pretty much every day or every other day. Fantastic. And what about upper body? How often do you do upper body? Um, I do that a little bit more, more spaced out maybe every other day. So I try to focus more on my core and my legs, and I do uh, upper body in between. Nice. Now, as, as the game has gotten more and more aggressive as the years have gone on, how do you change your training to deal with those guys that are bigger, stronger, and faster? I mean, it's a long season, and um, like you said, guys are stronger and faster. So, you know, uh, being in the weight room, it helps a lot. You know, not only being on the court, but trying to get uh, your endurance in the weight room every day because it's a long season. You don't want your body breaking down. So you try to get in, try to do as much work every day. Right, absolutely. Well, here's a question, sort of a general NBA question. There seems to be, when I watch a game, it seems to be a balance between physicality and aggression and finesse. Uh, do, you, do you change that depending on the team that you're with? Um, depending on the player or the type of shots you're taking, you know, uh, sometimes you want to be aggressive, but you got to be uh, finesse around the basket, you know, make sure you finish, you know. Uh, so it's a little bit of both. Uh, more physicality, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe 80-20. Okay. So if a player that you're covering becomes more physical and obviously is being more aggressive, do you rise to the occasion or do you pull back and add a little finesse? Um, I think with a guy who's being uh, ultra aggressive, I think you want to be a little bit aggressive, but uh, try to beat him with finesse. Also, you know, uh, a guy that's too too aggressive, you know, sometimes gets out of control. Right, right, absolutely. And lastly, you know, Celebrity Sweat is all about motivating, inspiring young people to stay active. Is there any advice that you would give to the young people about the importance of exercise and health? Um, just, you know, just try to stay as uh, fit as possible, you know, uh, you know, whatever sport, even in, just in life period, you know, you want to be healthy, you know, uh, just keep your body fit. Fantastic. It's such yeah, a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much, man. Well, there you have it. Some of the coolest workout tips from one of the greatest NBA players there is, Wilson Chandler. Don't forget to download full episodes. Go to csweat.com. I'm Eric the Trainer. I'll see you next time.